Hi, me again. Video 2. Set the timer. Okay. So I'm going to actually, um, before I go on to the whole fat thing, I'm going to run something by you. There's a lot of people that I know have uh, made the New Year's resolution to start a new page and live healthy and eat healthy, eat clean and uh, work out and uh, even a couple of brave souls have decided to, to uh, join the gym. So I wanted to give you guys advice about going to the gym. Um, if you are, I'm talking to newbies, I'm not talking to people who's been at the gym or people who has been training, what, this is a, a, literally a video for newbies, okay? I've been at the gym uh, now five years, um, actually when is it five years, March, no, April, this April it will be five years. Now people, when you go into a gym, it is for the first time, it is most probably the most intimidating thing you have ever done. You uh, go talk to somebody and not only do you talk to somebody to join the gym, but they also try and shove a personal trainer on you because you don't know anything about exercise and training and uh, you know, you just cannot go without a personal trainer. Well people, first of all, um, yes you can. I have never had a personal trainer in my life, nor will I ever have a personal trainer in my life. I have been looking at personal trainers in the past five years and I am getting completely and utterly disgusted with them. Uh, the more I see what they do, the more I uh, uh, look at them, the more I, I, I realize how little these people know. Um, I have been, okay, so as, I'm, as, I, as I told you guys, I've been in the gym for five years. Um, there's a couple of die-hard uh, tra trainers that's been there. Um, for the five years that I've been there, or maybe a little bit less, maybe say four years or something like that, they've, they've been in the same gym that I've been in. They have been training the same people for the past four years, so as long as I've been there. These people that go to trainers, they have no clue what to do. That's the reason they go to trainers. These trainers have been training these people for four years, about as long as I've been those people look exactly the same as the day that they walked in there the first time. People, if that happens to you, you should be started, you, you should be thinking about the fact that something is wrong. If you are training yourself after death and you are sweating and you are walking out of the gym and you're thinking you just had one um, fabulous workout and a year later you are looking exactly the same as you did a year before. It, People, <laughs> why are you spending $89 an hour on a trainer if a year later you look exactly the same? It is driving me up the wall. I'm going to tell you about trainers. How to find a trainer that is good for you. A trainer that's actually going to make a difference in your life and is actually going to accomplish something with your body. Um, first of all, people, okay, a lot of people needs trainers or they need somebody to push them because they can't push themselves okay so I can understand I, I understand I do understand it I don't understand it but I do understand it I know that some people just can't kick their own butts in gear and just can't do it by themselves or they'll start and then they give up they need somebody to push them and push them and push them and that's okay so I'm gonna be talking to you guys the other people I, I want to talk to is you can do this by yourself Personal trainers are extremely expensive and the ones that is actually going to achieve anything with your body are few and far between people. I am not joking. Most of the people that go into a gym that become personal trainers do a weekend course. They know absolutely nothing about training. They do, uh, I know that the, 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 the gym that I'm at, like I can't say the name or whatever, but these people go on this three week course where they basically go in and I think it's like three hours in the first weekend. The, the overall training is something like 20 hours, people. They, they, they get bare basic training, they get shoved into a gym, they show them how the machines work, and then they start training people. They know nothing. They know, know absolutely nothing, and they send these kids in, and, and the young ones too, people fresh out of school. Um, uh, yeah, okay, I, I, all right. Uh, the thing is, what I am going to try and teach you is, how do you get... A personal trainer that you know will make a difference. First of all, girls and boys, guys too, you guys need to get educated. 
you need to start setting goals for yourself and stop being afraid to set those goals. If you have a goal and you don't know how to reach it, if you are going to pay $89 an hour or $90 an hour, and I've even heard of people getting $110 an hour. My husband is an electronics engineer that studied for seven years and I don't think he gets that. But anyway, some of them get $110 an hour and um, they should be able to make you reach your goal. Do not be afraid to set a goal. If you want to do a bodybuilding competition, then you set that goal and they better get you there or you want your money back. Because people, it's nonsense that you get trained for by somebody for two or three years. It costs you $10,000 a year and you do not look any different. Something is wrong with this picture. So, I've got four minutes to tell you how to find a good trainer. Chances are, the gym that you're in, you won't find a good trainer. Okay? Now, first of all, the first thing I would say is when you walk into a gym, there's usually a wall where they have all the trainers, pers uh, all the personal trainers posted, and then they have a little bit, a little bit of a bio on these people. I am. This is my name. This is my. This is what I've done so far. Um, this is what I studied. Blah blah blah. You know, they start with uh, um, personal trainers, and then they go to elite trainers and ultimate trainers and whatever the heck trainers there are. Okay, so. First you go to that wall and you look at those pictures and you look at what what they've done. Now I can guarantee you something. Somebody that's actually worth their weight in money, somebody that has a degree in exercise and training will not work at the gym because those people, the $90 that you pay an hour to those people, the gym takes half of that or even more. So a person who has uh, have studied exercise and training for six years or for five years or however long they train to become is not going to work for a minute salary in a gym okay they are going to become gym teachers they are going to become professors they're going to become um, uh, uh, athletic people that train athletes to go to um, uh, uh, the Olympics or or something like that you are not going to go into a normal gym and find somebody like that so what are you left with you are basically left with in my opinion when you look at somebody, I have a hair in my eye, and I'm going to try, I've got it two minutes, so I'm going to see if I can finish up with it, with this, and just ignore this hair in my eye, so, okay, the next thing you look for people, okay, if you want to change your body, you look at the trainers, the biggest mistake bigger women make is to go and choose a big trainer, because it makes them feel less self-confident if they have a person that is as big as them, or bigger than them, to train them. Let me tell you something, sweetheart. You will never change your body if you choose a trainer that looks like you. Okay? You go out and you find a trainer that looks the way you want to look. Because if they can achieve that on their own bodies, they will know how to change your body. If you go to a personal trainer that, and by the way, the gym that I'm in, there's two trainers that are in fairly good shape. All the other ones are big and what's the worst of it is every one of those big trainers are being trained by other trainers they don't train themselves that part I do not understand so this this is not everybody has these big huge biographies or oh, biographies what do you call them are my words now flown out my head again but you look at a trainer and you look at what they look like girls and it doesn't matter whether you get a male trainer or a female trainer. If you guys take that first step to go into the gym, you throw all of your um, shyness and all of your everything out the door and in the beginning it is embarrassing, yes. But when you find somebody that looks the way, looks the part, chances are they will be able, able to get you out of your rut and into the place where you want to be because you do not want to pay that amount of money and a year down the line you've wasted ten thousand dollars and you look exactly the same I'm going to tell you guys how to get started in a gym in my next video and then I'm going to go back to fat loss and weight loss because I'm out of time again guys I hope you have a lovely day I know I sound very aggressive and I'm not giggling in these, these um, uh, um, two uh, training exercise uh, videos but it is very important to me that you guys set goals and you reach them okay so i'm gonna let you go for now and i'm gonna make the, the next video right after this one have a good night girls and please contact me 
talk to me if you have questions, okay? Bye-bye.